Hey everyone, welcome back to Medieval Engineers, our Let's Build series. So, last episode we built a Dwarven, or not so Dwarven, but you could just call it Dwarven because it's with the rest of the Dwarven structure, a royal crypt. And uh, if you guys want to see that, if you're new, you can look at the previous video and you'll be able to see what that looks like. Uh, we also have our tavern, which I rebuilt, and should be good to go. And then also, I rebuilt the barracks. And this episode, at the end of it, I'll upload this to the Steam Workshop, so you guys will have access to it, to come in, uh, walk around, see all the buildings, and then also uh, copy and paste it to your own saves and your own builds, because that's kind of the purpose of this series, is to make structures you all can use. Uh, though... There are some modded blocks, just a warning, and if you aren't using those modded blocks on your own save, I suggest turning off structural integrity when you first copy and paste these in. That way you won't have any mishaps, hopefully, and you can go from there. So this episode, uh, we're going to be working on a large cathedral. Uh, this one's probably twice as big as the one in Lothloria. It's going to be pretty uh, heavy structure. And then um, it's also probably going to end up being a little bit taller. And we'll see if we can figure out the supporting uh, attributes of it. Because everything I build, I try and make structurally sound. Uh, even though I'm building without structural integrity, just because it makes it easier. But, you know, if I turn Structural Integrity on, you see everything's green. So that's the goal. To see if it's done. And it might be a two episode, depending on how long. Uh, it's going to be a complicated structure. So we might as well just get started now. It's going to be kind of reminiscent of La Floria. Uh, just because that cathedral turned out very well, in my opinion. So we're just going to have to mark out the basic floor plan, and this is what you do with pretty much any structure in this game. Is you want to mark this out so that you know kind of this general space you're working with. You'll see we'll be using the 2x1 kind of circular blocks, and hopefully that will be an interesting element. I don't know how well it's going to work in terms of roofing. At least not yet. Um, we need a curved wall. My hotbar isn't 100% set up. It is mostly set up. But we never really know for sure what we'll need until we run into it. So as with many cathedrals, we're going to have a nice uh, wide aisle and then these uh, one block wide side aisle and there'll be shrines and stuff and these little alcoves marking the length of the structure and then uh, we might have a entrance on these wings as well. Not 100% sure on that just yet. <laughs> I'm yawning. I'm kind of getting a little bit of a late start on this. So let's see here. The pillars we're going to have to do probably some sort of just a double, not a double, um, yeah, a perfect square pillar not one of these rectangles or anything like that. In that way we can just cover all the angles correctly. And we're going to need a lot of pillars just because of the, the massive weight these things are going to have to hold. Now normally cathedrals 
Um, yes, they, they'll have kind of key large pillars, but you wouldn't see them with with pillars this close together. But for medieval engineers and the way it's structural integrity works, this is just kind of what we're going to have to do. I might look into getting rid of some afterwards to see if we can eliminate and make it, make it as open as possible on a second pass. So yeah, that's, that's that first section. So we can start laying out rest here. I really don't know how well the roofing is going to go. Again, it's going to be pretty up in the air. And you can see that we're, we're going to have to be trimming away some blocks because we just want this little section of that stone curve. And then hopefully we can kind of cap this off with a pillar I've actually never tried this before. Mm. I don't know if a pillar is going to be big enough. No, doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'm just going to have to figure out what we can do in that area to make it a nice flush spot. So we'll just drop in some more windows. Hopefully there won't be too many because it does affect structural integrity to add windows. It is why early churches before cathedrals didn't, you know, have many windows and that's what made cathedrals a little bit special just because it's, it's kind of when they rediscovered arches and domes and, and enable them to build taller with less uh, worried about walls and wall supports. Let's bring this up one other floor. I think next episode we're going to be working on some type of guild structure. And if you guys have a specific profession that you want me to work on, uh, I would suggest that in the comments below so I can see it and build something that you guys might be interested in. Try and stay away from a blacksmith since we've already done that. Uh, in terms of the Dwarven Forge. We kind of don't need to just make another blacksmith just yet. Though we'll probably have to end up doing so. Alright everyone, so we're going to be uh, kind of wrapping this episode up here. I went ahead and did a couple uh, hours off camera working and reworking areas. Uh, one of my mods is causing a conflict with roofing and just ID numbers with things. So I actually lost some roofing tile sets that just come default with the game. Like I don't have the small uh, rounded bit anymore. I only have the old versions and I don't even have like the different versions for the roof uh, tile top anymore. So I'm gonna have to go through in between episodes and figure out what's going on with that. Maybe pinpoint what mod is causing it and just remove it for now. Uh, if I had to guess, it's probably these stone house ones. Um, if not that, then maybe something else. Anyways, uh, it, it's shaping up pretty nice. 
uh, for a first pass. The is about as open as I wanted it to be. Uh, these side aisles, I'm gonna have to raise up this archway to the top because I just don't like how low this is in comparison to the rest of the structure. And then uh, next episode, we'll probably just wrap it up and we should be able to finish the back end hopefully in one go. Uh, once you kind of figure out the general spacing of the front, uh, the back end just kind of follows the same format, wrapping all the way around. And then you have to figure out how to support the main tower over the nave. So we'll uh, see how that goes. I also made the front towers a little bit smaller. The, the bigger versions looked just just too big, really, for the front end. So we'll be, I'll be put, probably putting the facade in between episodes and working on it a little bit more over the weekend. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, feel free to subscribe. Uh, I know it's probably going to be running short. I don't know how short it's going to be, but... Um, basically, it's just... A, a lot of building has went into this, and so I'm, I'm going to have to cut a lot of it out. Because I, it's really a lot of me just float, fly, flying around like this and making sure things are looking right. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And hopefully this weekend I, I can try and upload a couple extra episodes of other games than just Space Engineers and Medieval Engineers. And I think that's about it.